Kwame Adu passed out of the HIV testing upstairs. Pulse 140 and thready. Kwame, okay. I'm Dr. Bloom. You're a new Amsterdam ED, and okay. we're going to take good care of you, OK? OK. OK, let's yeah. get him on take the bed. Like oh. okay. OK, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hey, Kwame. Yes? We got the results from the HIV test you just took. Uh-huh. It's positive. No. No, that, 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 that can't be true. Kwame, I'm sure it's not the result that you wanted, but HIV isn't a death sentence anymore. It's manageable. This can't be happening. Hey, hey, hey. look, just take it easy, all right? That test is wrong. OK, but the results also say that your pancreas is damaged. That's why you're sick, all right? You just need to relax. That test is wrong. OK. OK? OK? Just Kwame, Kwame, just have a seat right here. Don't... Kwame. <sighs> If you don't get treatment, you could die. OK, let him go, OK? You can't keep him here his against his will. Pancreas is going to explode. Then he's going to be back. Mariana, get home or one ready for an acute pancreatitis. Yes. He's back. No pulse. They found him in the parking lot. VTAC, charging at 360. Rhythm Clear. Clear. Shocking. Scream for H's and T's. Pat. He's back. Normal sinus Pulse rhythm. Socks 97. Kwame! Whoa, whoa, Are you all right? Hey, hey, hey! No, out! You need to be out. No, no, I'm, I'm responsible for you it. You don't I'm have a mask! I'm of his mission for the what? Church of Jesus Christ. No, that's your way. It's gonna be okay. I'm here. I'll get the lidocaine drip ready. Tell me what happened. I can't. You can tell me anything. Remember? I was with a man. I have HIV. Please don't send me back. I want to finish my mission. The church is all I have. God is all I have. Then why did you turn your back on him? Your mission is over. That's <laughs> Shumei, please. 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 I can't tell you about faith, but I saw what your elder did. You shouldn't have to repent to someone who abandoned you at a time when you needed him the most. Elder Shamwe loves me like a father. He knew I was gay. He treated me with grace and acceptance. All he asked of me was to not act on my desires. He did not turn his back. I did. I threw God away. And this disease, it means I will never get God back. Is there a pill? A surgery? A anything to scrape these disgusting edges out of my body? Kwame, Kwame. <laughs> Brother, this is not disgusting. This is who you are. Sex is not who I am. I am my community, my family, my faith. I am an elder in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That is who I am. And it's not that simple. But it is that simple. Think of the one thing you can't live without. That is who you are. You came back. Reynolds? What was that? What Kwame wants more than anything is to be a Mormon husband to a Mormon wife. And he thought he lost that. He has lost that. He's gay. No, no. He thought he lost that 
because he's HIV positive, and he thought that meant that he couldn't have children, right? <sighs> Which is the cornerstone of a spiritual community. Gay people can have children. But between heart therapy and PrEP, of course, HIV can be untransmittable and safe for conception. So I called the elder, let him know that, and he feels there's a path for Kwame. He even suggested that he can marry a woman who knows about his struggles. Are you kidding me? You use the science of HIV to put someone back into the closet. I mean, well, that's, that's what he wants. So if he wanted to shoot himself in the head, where would you have stood on that? I mean, what if he wanted to leave the ED with the failing pancreas? You think I like this? I don't. But we can't pick and choose when to respect our patients' wishes. And being a Mormon is more important to Kwame than his sexuality. Well, the guy he had unprotected sex with disagrees with you. Oh, come on. Nobody's torturing him. He's choosing this. Yes. Yeah, he is choosing a life based on the idea that he has to be somebody that he's not. Because there's something wrong with who he is. Look, I get what you were trying to do here, Floyd. But we're talking about his heart. Days like this make you think of his mysterious ways. And yours. You've seen the West and you're still still. It's not the worst. It's your choice. Can you transcend it?